Hello everyone and welcome to a beginner's guide to understanding the deep web, dark web, and the Tor hidden services network. As there is much misconception around about this subject, we will start this guide by asking you to forget whatever you think you know about the dark web. Not on a figurative level or to be scary, but just genuinely forget all the biases and misinformation that is spread on YouTube and other mainstream websites in order to keep people from genuinely discovering Tor and what it really is. Once that is done, we can begin the introductions. I'd like to start, however, by dismissing some of the most prominent misconceptions about the deep web. Firstly, the deep web and the dark web are two separate things, just like the dark web is not exclusive to the Tor network. In order to understand this, you need to know how search engines work. When a search engine finds a website, let's say, facebook.com, it searches for every link on that web page, and every link on every link of the web page, and so on and so forth, like a spider crawling into every nook and cranny of a house. This is why we call search engines spiders or crawlers. The spider does this until it finds what it believes to be a complete map of the website. This map is what appears on search results, and is what we call the surface web. The spider doesn't access your Facebook login page, or your settings page, or your private feed. That's because no other pages on the website link to them. Every single page you see after logging into a website, be it YouTube or Twitter, is the deep web. It cannot be indexed by search engines and thus falls into that category. Many infographs and creepypastas attempting to be more scary, say that the surface web only represents 4% of the actual internet, and that the deep web is the remaining 96%. This isn't wrong, it's just misunderstood information. It doesn't mean that 96% of the entirety of the internet is illegal shit, it just means that the vast majority of it cannot be accessed by search engines. Which is correct. That one website you made for high school, that is hosted on your local network. Yep, that's the deep web. Your university's internal network. Also deep web. Now do you understand why it's so big? The actual dark web is any network that cannot be accessed using normal internet protocols. Tor, short for the Onion Network, is the biggest of the dark nets, but there are many others, notably I2P and Freenet. Only people with a given protocol can access the dark web. If I wanted to create a darknet for only my subscribers, I could, and it would be fairly easy. All you need an internet protocol to share with whoever you want to be able to access the network. The government has its own dark web. There are no secret government websites about Ilians on tour, because they're all on their private network. A hacker would be stupid to use tour, they could just create their own network and be sure that nobody could access it but them. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go on to another very prominent misconception, the layers of the dark web. This is simply not true. The tour domains don't end in .onion because they're implying that the dark web has many layers, akin to an onion, they end like that because the encryption tour uses has many layers of proxies, akin to the layers of an onion. There is simply no such thing as the layers of the dark web. At most, there are two different categories of hidden services, discovered and undiscovered. But nothing more than that. There is no Mariana's web where the use of quantum computing is necessary. I mean who the fuck came up with that? Now, onto the actual guide to the Tor dark web. It is quite easy to learn as long as you understand what's going on behind the scenes. The only thing you need to do in order to access the dark web is, well, just downloading Tor. That's pretty much it. Set it up and get it running. Now you can start your surfing of the dark web. There are some notable websites, however, and I will link them in the description, like the hidden wiki, which has many interesting links on it, and freedom hosting, where you can host your own hidden services. Remember, any website that promises you to double your bitcoins, or to rent a hacker etc. is fake. Do not give them your money. Anyways, thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon once again.